for it. You you feel ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, ready, everybody? Okay, everyone says you sound beautiful. Okay. Hi, everybody. Poop Witch X here. Um, today's episode is episode 13 of Coven Conversations. And today I have with me my side quest teammate, my beautiful friend, Sarah Plays Life. Sarah, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. How are I'm you? So, I'm doing well. I'm so happy that you, you came on the podcast with me. I love your face. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Honestly, I'm really excited because I feel like we we used to talk like a lot and then life happened mm-hmm. and now we're getting to rekindle life and I'm so excited. Yes. Okay, so how have you been? <laughs> Busy. <laughs> how okay, so do you do you stream full time? No. Okay. I wish. Uh, okay, it's the goal so you, eventually. Right. I know. It's it's really hard to get there. I, I feel that oh, so yeah. hard. It's really it's a it's a tricky little little minx streaming so Mm -hmm. so what is your your job would you call it like your full-time job kind of thing yes I uh, my parents have a print shop and uh I basically do like all the blueprints and production oh my god that Um, sounds really cool this cutout behind me I actually made that at work shut Uh, the hell up wait (laughs) what so wait when you say prints you mean like posters yeah what that okay so is that the biggest thing you've ever made no. <laughs> you're, you're like going through your head. You're I'd like, think. what is bigger? That's a well, weird question uh, to ask. <laughs> my partner, Chris, uh, we made him a Lady Dimitrescu. What? Uh, she's only eight feet, though. She's not oh, only, nine. Only eight feet, guys. Oh, don't don't get excited. <laughs> oh, my God. That's really cool. So so you're it's like a family owned business. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's really fun. Do you do, do you guys work through at home or do you have like a place? No, we have a shop. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm really happy that you were able to to work with your family through the whole pandemic and everything. That's like... It wasn't the whole time, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Did you have yeah. a different job? Oh, yeah. I've gone through like two and then <gasps> landed with them. Shut up. Whoa. Yeah. Really? Okay. So, so when did you first start streaming? I had this in my calendar recently. Oh, no. I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was 20... I like did my first stream. I think it was in November 2017. Oh wow! Okay, so so for a while, where did you find streaming like accidentally, or was it something that you always were sort of part of? Um, I started off doing YouTube like forever ago, and okay. then I was working at GameStop, and us. Uh, I think some of my friends were st- streaming on Twitch. Cause I didn't know what it was. Mm-hmm. Damn, um, you've had like every job. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, you, during, during the pandemic, like the start, I was working at Chick-fil-A and then Chick-fil-A and GameStop and then GameStop and my parents shop and then just my parents shop. <laughs> wow. OK, so I kind of feel like you're one of those people who are like a jack of all trades. You, you can just pick yes. up something and start and do it. And yes. so is your sort of like end game goal like you would like to be a full time streamer kind of thing? Like that's what you're yeah. working towards. OK, cool. Definitely. So, what do you feel like like from going from YouTube to Twitch? Is it because I've never streamed on YouTube? Was it like different? Like how would you know? Tell me everything. Um. Well, I didn't stream on there. I did videos. Oh, okay. Because uh, okay. I know how to edit slightly from high school. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> it was it just it was so time consuming that when I found yes. out about streaming, I was like, yes, that's, well, that's cool too. The back end side of streaming, like the video edits and everything, is probably mm-hmm. what I loathe the most about streaming in general. Because I actually just took Monday off, like this past Monday, mm-hmm. um, because I was so backlogged with like video edits and catching up with all my to-do lists and everything that I genuinely was like, streaming brings me so much joy, but the back end just is trash garbage. Like I got mm-hmm. badge, like I hate it. And <laughs> editing is so hard and i think that a lot of people have this misconception that streaming is just hitting go live and it's really yes not. there they is really so much more to it because the hustle is real like you have mm-hmm. so much stuff you have to do behind the scenes to keep the momentum of your stream going so you do you still do youtube edits and stuff or do you focus mostly on live stuff mostly on twitch uh, i try to edit every now and again but with 
just life right now. I don't have yeah. time. To. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been seeing some people like hiring editors and stuff, and I'm like, I, I did, I did. It's, it's I don't know. <laughs> I know. It, you know what? Honestly, you want to hear what sucks? Okay, so I was like, I'm gonna hire a TikTok editor because I hate it and I'm trash and it's so hard. I and I, I listen at the BS of this is Sarah. I hired a TikTok editor, and literally like a week later, I got shadow banned on TikTok. And like it won't, they like won't take it down, and I don't know why. So I emailed the community manager on TikTok. I'm like, "Yo, Shorty, I am friggin' shadow banned. What did I do?" And she's like, "Yeah, you. We're just monitoring your account, but like, you keep posting. Everything's fine. Like, don't worry about it." And I was like, "Bitch, I my videos are not doing anything." And I was like, yeah. "How am I? I?" And so now I don't know if I should hire him again because he's doing a good job, but I, his videos aren't. I don't know how to like decide because yeah. he's it's expensive, you know. So yeah, I'm in exactly. a quandary <laughs> of my own with this video editing thing. But mm -hmm. yeah, it is a luxury to. Would you ever consider being hired to do video edits? <laughs> I say as I'm like, hello, do you video edit? <laughs> um, I don't know how to do a lot of yeah the cool editing things. Um, yeah. I know very basic cut and paste together kind of thing that's me that's me i want to so get hard. more into like the funny stuff where like yeah. the screen goes red and the audio is like oh, like i oh, want to yeah, do yeah. that <laughs> you know what hilarious. it is i think that like how wait sarah do you mind me asking how old you are 25 just turned that may 1st yeah oh my god happy birthday like <laughs> belated you. belated but happy <laughs> birthday oh my gosh okay so i'm gonna be 30 but, but i'm gonna be 30 in august and when I go on TikTok, you're still young, but when I go on TikTok, I'm like, how are they doing these things? Like, which I don't, things? Like, how are they editing and uh, like transitioning? And I'm like, how are you doing this? Like, well, have you have you filmed a TikTok like on TikTok? Yeah, yes, and it's there. So yeah, bad. it's so. So I don't know either. I don't know. It's crazy, and I'm I'm trying to figure out because a lot of like streamers, you know, they. OG streamers they get a lot of success from being just like OGs they the tier mm -hmm. one guys who've been on since it was Justin TV and they've been on forever but real the reality is is a lot of streamers that you see that are up and coming are finding success by hustling on other platforms and a huge yes. one is TikTok and Twitter and Instagram so it's really hard to um continuously try to like push the other platforms while you're trying to mm -hmm. grow your your channel it's 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 tough it really is so how have you been liking being on team side quest oh i love it <laughs> <laughs> like um oh when i first got on the team and we were all playing among us yes i felt so bad when i saw you come out of the whole the vent and i was just like boob witch no i'm I can't. I haven't. I don't think I've played Among Us since that day, that fateful day. I'm like, never yeah. again. No, you know, but what's really nice is, is I feel like I actually was getting, I was no, I know, I was knowing you. This is my English mm -hmm. here, people. I knew you before uh, you were on SideQuest and we were, we were talking and I remember you. Yeah. Yeah. I've known you just before uh, yes. you got on SideQuest. I met a lot of, because from the first round, I yes. was kind of meeting everybody everybody and it's so nice because when when they give us the list of people who are going to be on it and like you mm -hmm. we all you know i was like oh my god she's gonna be on it i was so excited and it you really like you really fit the vibe and i mm -hmm. feel like also like i'm so impressed with your discord skills because you keep up with stuff in discord and i can't oh. and, and i'm like you're so like i, I read everything i don't want to sound like a stalker but i read everything <laughs> like after you guys are talking and i'm like i wish that i knew how they did this like how do you keep up with it it's so amazing but it really um, i don't keep up with anything <laughs> Oh, I think you do such a good job. Like you got you talk every day at least. And I'm like oh, four yeah. days later, I'm like, oh hi. And you guys are like, that was from four days ago. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I don't know. But no, you are you're amazing. And I'm so glad that you are a teammate now. And mm -hmm. exciting. So how have you been liking um doing St. Jude? I like it a lot. It's um it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It is it just so charity in general, especially when it's a month long thing, from mm -hmm. what the you know the only this is my second month-long campaign ever mm. um 
but it's definitely taxing and i wish i did better incentives but mm. i think it's fun i really do yeah. like it i want to make it like an annual thing for sure yeah i appreciate that you actually were like open and said like it's taxing because i have to yes. agree <laughs> month long event really any event that's a month long it mm. charity or not is it takes a little bit of a toll because you kind of feel this obligation that every time you stream you have to like push really hard and like hit goals and be mm -hmm. doing all your incentives and your milestones so I totally appreciate your honesty about that it is month-long things are hard they really are and um but St. Jude Live is such a good cause and it is it's nice to have the opportunity and it's such a good integrative com uh, company into Twitch yes. it's like they make it easy for us and everything so that's <laughs> that's pretty cool also I'm not trying to be weird but like you have so many cool things behind you I get that a lot. <laughs> like, can you can you just show me like what the heck is uh, like how many pops you have? Oh, how many pops? Yeah. One. I only have nine right here. Oh my God. There's more hidden over here because Zong Lee's in the way. Uh, um. <laughs> do you collect them? Yes. Do you I collect move... like things? I want to move more away from pops and like actual figures. Yeah. But I do collect figures. Yes. You have so I love I honestly one of my favorite things is to like look at what people have going on behind them because you get like a, such a good sense of who they are and you've such an eclectic like fun all these different I'm dying to know who's on the who is this big guy on I'm pointing like you can see where I'm pointing. This one? Like <laughs> yes. Um that is, oh my god, Alphonse from Full Metal Alchemist. Mm. Okay, That's Full the, Metal. Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist is anime, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I I wanted to get into anime, and I I love like I've seen Spirited Away, love Spirited oh. Away. Oh, so amazing! But I always feel so intimidated because the shows have so many seasons, and like I'm like, mm -hmm. how do I start this? process what would you recommend is the best anime for someone who's like a little nervous to start because spirited away i love <clears throat> spirited away i've seen it like a hundred times it's so oh my god the food looks so good yes there's actually <laughs> the wood burning right here you can't really see it but uh that's spirited away over there. oh my oh see i knew it i knew it <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah any studio ghibli movie i feel is a good in intro in the yeah. anime but shows ah oh. There's so many good ones. Full Metal is probably a hard one to get into in the beginning. Yeah. Um, what about there's like something called like Iron, uh, not Iron, no, Death Note, Death Note. Oh, I've actually never seen Death Note. Oh, It's okay. on my list of things I need to see. I've heard a lot about Death Note too. I'm always so like, I, I have a very specific genre of stuff I watch. Like I mm -hmm. watch horror movies and murder documentaries and like and then like great british baking show like that's like literally like the diversity of my so do you do you that do, like perfectly sums you up too i feel like <laughs> I, I have a very and then i fall asleep to spongebob because obviously oh my God. Obvi or family guy or american dad but like seriously mm -hmm. my range is a little limited so i'm always trying to like start something i could become like really obsessed with but mm -hmm. i'm having trouble and i'm like maybe anime is the way to go i'll have to think based on okay. what real people shows you watch i <laughs> I refer to like non anime as real people. Real people shows. shows. Well, what is your favorite real people show? Oh, I have absolutely no idea. Do um, you watch real people shows? I like how we're calling it real. Sometimes, people shows yes. Now. Sometimes. I really like Bridgerton. Okay, I don't I, know if you've well, seen it on that. I part. haven't yet. But like, what's interesting is I was gonna sit down and start it the other day, like three days ago, and I was it's like, like <laughs> it so seems like not my style. I'm like, should I like? Oh, I I love Renaissance era. I do too. Like, oh my gosh, so I love it. Oh, too. rain. I I've don't seen know. Rain, like what? seven what? times. Do it's you mean like, the rain? No, it's like rain, like a raining king, like R E I G N. Oh, because well. <laughs> 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 there's a TV show 
on Netflix called The Rain. And I was like, is she talking about a real person? Rain, like rain of crowning. Okay. Or yes. That's crowning? What did I just say? Okay. Yes. Yes. That. Okay. Okay. So you, put in chat. so you like, like, is that a period piece too? Rain? Yes. It's a... Uh... I think it's about King Henry in like France and then like Mary Queen of Scots. Okay. It's so so do you good. like the crown? I haven't seen that actually. I feel like it sounds like right up your alley, like Probably. from everything you've heard so far. I like period pieces too. Okay, have you seen oh. Ever After? Oh my god. Sarah, get off this podcast and go watch it. No, I'm trying. Is that is that <laughs> Drew Barrymore? Over? Yes, it's a movie. Yes, I've it's seen that. No, I have it <gasps> on VHS actually. <gasps> okay, thank God. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> as period pieces go, and as like a <laughs> that beautiful one makes me cry every time. Makes me cry so hard. It's such a beautiful <laughs> it's... movie. And I also yes. just love Drew Barrymore. I'm like obsessed mm -hmm. with her. But like, yeah, okay, because I love period pieces. I always think of Ever After and like, did you like Marie Antoinette? The it was kind of weird. I don't think I watched that. I it's, haven't heard of that. It's unusual. It's they basically like what's her name? Kirsten Dunst plays Marie mm -hmm. Antoinette, but they like half her back in the times of Marie Antoinette and like but they're playing like current music. It's kind of weird. It's very it's a little weird, but it's not bad. And I think you'd like it if you like period pieces. You would probably like Rain then cuz they don't play they do uh instrumentals with mm -hmm. modern music. Oh, so I love you, like, that. You couldn't even really tell unless like you knew the song okay wait and what's cowboy so bebop amazing i just started it but I, it's that? like a staple in the anime it's like a uh, space cowboy basically oh i love that like Firefly. i've only seen the first episode and it's good so far. wait that's so weird that you were like have you seen bridgerton i was like i was just gonna start it and then they we bring up bebop and you're like i just started it that's so crazy okay i really feel like anime is like this whole world like people yes have like so many there's so many options too it seems it's a very like in intimidating thing to start i always feel like you know and i don't want to go down the wrong alley and be like i hate it too much you know yeah well and that's also it's so difficult because like generally any um anime fan loves the anime so much so when they recommend it it like i feel like they oversell it sometimes yeah because, like, I get really excited about, like, all the anime I watch. Yeah. And then and then it also, like, usually it takes a while to, like, warm up, too. Mm-hmm. So that, yeah. by, so when you say, like, oh, it's so amazing, and then you're, like, five episodes in, you're like, what the hell is happening? Like, people can yeah. get turned off a little bit. That's how I feel about Buffy. But that that's a whole other I've podcast. I've never seen Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> you're hurting me. Have you seen um Helsing? Vampire anime. Oh. Wait. Helsing. No. Helsing vampires and like, but like not like Twilight, which they're not vampires, Andy. It, vampires, <laughs> though, Twilight does not count as vampires at all. <laughs> Cowboy um, Bebop sounds like a good one. Yes. Very good. <clears throat> okay. I feel like I'm less, a little less intimidated to start. So you said Full Metal Alchemist is like the number one. I really like that one. There's two different ones and there's a war on which one you should watch <laughs> wait what's the other one what's the other one well because there's full metal alchemist and then there's full metal alchemist brotherhood if oh. you just want to watch one you should watch brotherhood it's more closely related to the manga i believe don't quote me chad mm. no don't quote me manga. um <laughs> but um there's like uh words the You're amazing <laughs> full metal <laughs> alchemist Brotherhood covers a lot more than like just Full Metal Alchemist. Okay, so uh, you've seen both series and you love them. Mm -hmm. I feel like okay, so I should watch. Bro what if I wanted to watch them both? Do I have to start with one or the other? I would start with not Brotherhood, the other one. Okay, jeez, wait. See, this is what I mean. I'm already like, oh god, what do yeah. I do? Well, that also one, just because that one's complicated, and there's like some other ones that have like seven offshoots of one kind of it. it's a lot <laughs> Damn. so is the manga the book basically it's like the comic kind okay. of okay do you have to read it before you watch the show no have you read the, sh the no. book okay so i don't have, I don't have to. time for that <laughs> okay i because that's the other thing i'm like do i have to read this before i 
Because I have, yeah, it's it, that's what I mean. It's like intimidating. There's so many things. I'm like, oh, God, how do I start this? No, but, and well, yeah. that's like, I feel yeah. like that comes from people gatekeeping anime yeah. and like yeah. other things because it's just like, watch whatever you want. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, that's I don't, sort of, I don't yeah. care. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but there is, it, it does feel a little bit like people, um, want people to do it in a very specific order in a specific way and i'm like oh god i don't know what to do but yeah the ghibli movies are really they're so good oh my god i've seen i saw spirit away weirdly enough my seventh grade english teacher wasn't feeling well one day and he's like we're gonna watch my favorite movie and he put on spirited away and it was like so odd he was a good teacher (laughs) but what was and he was very like zany and eccentric and i i will never i think his name was mr burger he was a very (laughs) unusual (laughs) unusual man and he had these tiny little glasses and he would like he had curly wild hair and he was always like pacing he was very unusual but i will never forget that he's like i'm having a bad day it's raining we're watching spirited away and we sat and watched i think like half a spirited away and then he thought no one was gonna like it and the whole class after was like can we finish this tomorrow like this is so good (laughs) um so that was the first time i ever saw it i've seen it like a hundred times since then and it really Mm -hmm. is good and that's sort of like was my first introduction to anime ever and then so good yeah it's a good one to start with i think so that that's my suggestion although i don't know anything really about anime so don't really take my suggestions at all i suggest yeah i'm I'm gonna get a spirited away tattoo on my leg one day are you really do you have any Mm -hmm. tattoos i have six <gasps> Me too. I had to think about it. Oh, you have Wait, six. We have, I have six too. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, what? Is, okay, so what is your favorite and least favorite of your tattoos? Um, my least everyone has favorites. <laughs> and least my favorites. least favorite is probably my. Uh, I have a UFO on my ankle <gasps> from a charity event at my local tattoo shop that I go to. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's a mushroom. It's oh, not. but mushrooms are so cute, though. <laughs> but you want it to be an... What, wait, describe why it looks like a mushroom. I think Your it's because um, it's not colored. It's just black and white or black okay. lines. Um, yeah. And the dots kind of bled out, so it kind of connects. So that's why it uh, kind of looks like a mushroom. So wait, is there an actual UFO? Like it, like spaceship? Yeah, there's the spaceship, and oh, then there's, like, the saying. beam. The so beams. it kind of looks, okay. yes. Okay, but that's really cute. Okay, so that's your least favorite. What's your favorite? Uh, I don't know. Maybe my arrow or my flowers. I don't know. How big have, How big is are they? I have my arrow right oh, here. Oh, nice. Oh, that's really pretty. And then my flowers are on the side. <gasps> pretty so, oh i, I like the placement know. of the flowers too those yeah. are really cute yeah. what kind of flowers were flower. they heather oh, flower you, we're like reading each other's minds like, <laughs> get away from me that's so <laughs> weird you're like i have six tattoos i'm like i have six tattoos and i'm like what flat and you're like it's a heather flower like get away that's really <laughs> cute no i i feel mm-hmm. like i you kind of um came in when i was actually in the middle of a rant i went for a tattoo yes. consult yesterday <laughs> and it was not successful and it's so hard because I sort of feel like I want I want to work on patchwork sleeves. Do you know like what that? Yes. Okay. Because I'm not. I'm. I my. <laughs> Are we living the same life? <laughs> my uh, my tattoo artist really wants to like my tattoos to touch, and I'm like, no, no, I no, no, no. No. I like the space too, and I love Please. I love patch. I know a lot of old school tattoo artists do not like this yeah. news, but I think the patchwork is so freaking beautiful, and it's I like, like it. so nice. So I want to do two sleeves, but like patchwork style, mm-hmm. and. I was really excited and I went to him. I drove an hour and a half there yesterday and I literally talked to him for like 10 minutes and he, I said, you know what the biggest thing is? And I don't know if you feel this way too, but, um, I've had four different artists and they, they, a lot of tattoo artists have this like air about them and it makes it like kind of feel like hard to talk to them i don't know if you've ever had this sort of feeling this vibe like they're too cool for school and you're like wasting their time even though you're like paying them for their time so it's like this weird feeling of like i'm like an idiot and i shouldn't be here like (laughs) like, i've had that i've all of my tattoos except for one have been by the same person i I love him he's great he owns the shop that i go to you're so lucky god damn it um (laughs) so jealous he he did my old manager's sleeve and like pretty much all his tattoos so i who already knew that he was really good yeah um and he's all almost always booked 
three yeah. months out. So yeah, <laughs> I know it's you always know hard. Good. That's the other thing is that they're like book, which is good. It's a good sign. Like a good tattoo yes. artist is booked out. But mm-hmm. I definitely mm-hmm. feel like frustrated because I really oh. I've been wanting like for two years to get these tattoos, and then the pandemic happened. I was like, God damn, and I don't know, man. And I like, do you know the woodcut style tattoo? I don't. I heard you say that earlier, and I was like, what is that? Yeah, it's sort of if you picture like an old folk tale story, it's like a lot of cross hatches, a lot of line work. Oh, like kind of like sketchy. Yes, very like almost like an illustration. Yeah, and I what did you call these wood what? wood woodcut tattoo? There's there's all different names. People call it like woodcut. They call it like uh, folk style. Um. So yeah, I want that specific style, and a lot of people can do it, but. Also, at the same time, not a lot of people could do it. So it's become mm-hmm. a quandary and I'm having trouble. And I I'm, I want to get like three more all done on the same day. One is mm-hmm. the size of like five inches maybe. And then the other two are like one inch. I'm like, you can do this yeah. in a day. Like, get out of here. You know, but it's, it's just, I don't know. It's one of those things where I feel like tattoos are so important to people, mm-hmm. you know, and they're me- a lot of, I mean, do you have any meaningless tattoos? My, other than the ufo <laughs> well because yeah because i was picking off of the tattooed flash sheets for the charity event yeah so i had oh, that and then they did what okay yeah it's so and funny then... <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> they have um they i did two so i got because they did another event and i have like a saturn with like a little moon and a star i think oh cute so Wait. those are kind of meaningless kind of not really but is saturn your charity? favorite planet no, that's just what was on the sheet. Damn it, Sarah. That, that's where we deviate because my favorite planet is Saturn. I love how she got rings. She got rings. <laughs> I, I mean, out of that would probably be my favorite if I thought about it. <laughs> You've never thought about No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> you don't just you, sit. It's so funny because I used to love astrology. Like, yeah. I have a book somewhere mm-hmm. with like... The constellations. I think yeah. it's more because I was into stars more than the yeah, planets. The planets, yeah. Do you like like um? Do you like what's your what's your sign? Taurus. Oh, you're okay. You're the same as my sister. Okay, you don't seem anything like her though. <laughs> <laughs> you seem I don't... so sweet and like like so not. She's so you know she's she's a tough cookie and not that you're not a I'm but in a different way. I'm sure like yeah. you know what I mean. But yes, Tauruses, hell yes, I do love them. You guys are amazing. But you know what's actually funny? I have a podcast in June where he's gonna do one of those birth charts for me. Ooh. Yeah, I and wanna I want to do that, but I can't. My Florida, I don't know if other states are different, but like Florida's uh, birth certificate doesn't have the time you were born. That's so what I have I'm no idea. With. Yeah, I my, no mo- idea my mom said I was born in the afternoon. My dad said I was born at three a.m. So clearly, it was an important moment for them. I was in the afternoon, sometime after, or well, the evening, like sometime after six. I think my mom said. So I, my like, parents have no idea my dad said 3 a.m my mom said in like 1 p.m i'm like you guys i was birthed into the world you guys don't remember what time they were sure they were like no i don't know i was drugged i was like mom <laughs> are, are you the baby or middle or oldest i'm the baby that's probably why yeah <laughs> they, they're like, like the last one i'm the last one they don't care they're like whatever <laughs> whatever they're like See, you're, you're the last one my mom was going through all the stuff, like the stuff trying to find my birth certificate, but didn't even matter. And then so she found my older sister and then my little sister because I'm the middle kid. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, all oh, right. The middle. OK. So are you, you have a sis- two sisters? Yes. Oh, boy. All right. Sisters. Sisters are <laughs> such a. So how old? What's the age difference between you and your sisters? Uh, I think my older sister's six years, I think. OK. And then my little sister is actually three years and two days because my oh, birthday wow. is may 1st and hers is may 3rd oh wow <laughs> oh my gosh that's like my husband and his brother my husband's birthday is on the 23rd and his brother's on the 21st so it's like right on top of each other yeah. and it's so interesting and she's hers is after you though two yes. days okay that's interesting so are you are you close with your your siblings now yes younger mm-mm I feel like that's <laughs> what everyone says when you have a sister. I swear. Yeah. Every time I ask anyone on this podcast, like, do you have siblings? They're like, yeah, I have a sister. I'm like, are you guys close? They're like, now we are. But like when we were growing up, <laughs> shit was hard, man. Yeah. It's a very um weird. It's a, not weird. It's a very um 
a unique dynamic sisters I feel like and um it's one of the most challenging but can be very rewarding I feel like later in life it can definitely oh yeah when you're growing up because we're all nerds so we all get along great (laughs) oh nice do they game with you um sometimes my older sister's really into Final Fantasy online she's like uh high up in her free company on there but uh, I don't play it anymore because I just don't have the time to grind. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, yeah. They play together. Uh, my little sister, my little sister play together on it. But um, Cute. Ooh, I don't have time to. Sometimes we play games, though. You are, you're one of the, I feel like, are you somebody who's, like, really busy a lot? You seem like somebody who's, like, always on the move. You always got stuff going on. Pretty much. Half the time, in, like, because I'll get off work at 5, and then I usually, I was streaming at 7. Which did yeah. not work. So now yeah. I stream at like eight when I stream. Yeah. Um, Late night streamers, yes. But I can only go to like generally eleven or midnight because yeah. I work at nine a.m. and I can't uh, wake up. <laughs> yeah. Well, that I my stream schedule has gotten so it's gotten out of control. I stream till like four a.m. now, <laughs> so I don't go to sleep until six a.m. because I'm so hyped up that I can't mm-hmm. r- unwind. And then every night I see the sun come up. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> like, <laughs> I did it, but I honestly I have so much more. Are you a night person, like a night owl in general? Yeah, I usually kind of. I don't know, not that late. Like usually, two a.m. is not too hard for me to stay up. Sometimes, yeah. depending yeah. on how the day was. But like work's been so hectic lately, like for the past week and a half, that I'm just yeah. <laughs> but like for it's like a good hectic. Like you guys were busy. Yes. Okay, that's Perfect. good. Oh well, that's good though. I mean, like especially if it's your if your parents shop, like you mm-hmm. want you know hustle in but yeah i totally get that it's hard and it's you should be really proud of yourself for juggling an irl job and then also streaming it's it's a huge challenge and that you dedicate time to continue to stream is amazing and do charity mm-hmm. you should be very 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 proud of yourself thank you and i'm proud of you <laughs> i you. am okay i wanted to ask you also um just like before um did you before I guess even before before streaming. Did you go to college? Did you have a trade school or do anything like that? Was that sort of in your cards? I like, so right after high school, I actually worked at my high school for two years after Mm -hmm. um, doing like testing rooms. But then I was going to college for a little bit. But to pay my bills, I needed to <laughs> stop Ooh. going to college. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a hard, uh, that's a hard decision, too. What were you going yeah. to school for? Did you declare a major? or? So this is why it was funny that you said jack of all trades earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, the degree was called interactive media. And it was basically you learned like uh, audio, video, graphic design. Like I, the college had a TV. Mm-hmm channel and uh i was on one of the cameras like oh, not cool in front of like on the you were a words. camera person thank you yeah <laughs> i got you um, a camera person <laughs> yeah so that was really that really they were all cool. really cool experiences but like one of my teachers because we did like a journalism class mm-hmm. no not no a fan. Did, nope <laughs> not a fan so so when you say you weren't a fan of journalism was it like the going on the scene or was it like the writing aspect of it it was the teacher oh actually. it oh, wasn't the well, class because that like would have been cool to learn but like yeah. when you don't did not vibe well at all oh yeah very very rude we sometimes. were actually we were talking about that like last last stream is that teachers make really any age group they make such a huge impression that Mm -hmm. if you have a bad teacher you can literally hate that subject without actually knowing you hate this like you might Mm -hmm. actually love the subject but if you had a better teacher who was kind or supportive so that actually is really unfortunate because i kind of feel like you have journalist vibes like does anyone else i kind of feel like i could see you like (laughs) writing in like like in like a newspaper and being like we have a new we have a breaking story and like i could feel that energy or like putting you out and like you know i could i could see i could because you also have a very calm energy do Mm -hmm. do you feel like you're a calm person not in person at all (laughs) okay (laughs) i'm generally i'm calm like on stream because it's generally the end of the night and like I yeah. do still currently live with my parents. I'm moving out in July. Mm-hmm. But, um, oh, okay. Congrats. Oh, my God. That's so exciting. You. So Are you getting an apartment? 
Mm-hmm. Me and oh, my that's... partner are moving in together. <gasps> yes, that is so exciting. I'm really happy for you guys. Is your Thank first you. time? Is your first place? Yes. Mine, yes. Oh, Noivus. <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. Well, honestly, it's like a really freeing feeling. I feel. I'm like excited because I don't um like being high pitched noises, which yeah. is like me in a nutshell <laughs> hurts my dad's ears i can't oh, I have to like oh think about that yeah um but i'm excited to be louder because yeah. i am a loud person i'm just i don't know you know streaming like even though you don't necessarily care for people's opinions sometimes depending on what it is <laughs> when yeah, I don't know. I always feel weird about getting like. I don't know hyper. why that just took me by surprise. <laughs> that you're like, you know, we don't care about people's opinions. <laughs> like that was not what I thought you were going to say. When they're about like how you conduct yes. yourself. Oh, you know trust I mean. me. Oh, trust me, babe. I know what you mean. That actually made me laugh because I just expected you to say something different. And you're like, yeah, we don't necessarily want to care about people's opinions. But no, it's so true because also I feel like, as a very hyper streamer myself. Yes. People always say, and I know that there's another mm -hmm. streamer in chat who feels the same way. Um, mm -hmm. People are always like, what drugs are you on? How much caffeine have you had? Like, do you have name this whatever? And the truth is, is like, you know, if you're a hyper person or an energetic person, like, mm -hmm. and you can apply that to stream, like not everybody feels like they're a hyper person and, and they should never try to be anyone they're not for stream. Like you should mm -hmm. just be yourself. But, um, I feel like if you are able to put that energy in, that's awesome. But some people are just like cozy calm and that's their vibe yeah. and it's beautiful and it's amazing. And for a while, I honestly wish that I could calm the F down because I was like, I'm never going <laughs> to grow because I'm always screaming and shrieking and cursing. But oh, my God, I get so nervous about cussing. Oh, my gosh. No, like you have no idea. I, so I try when I'm doing uh, when I'm podcasting to like because it's going to go on Spotify and I'm trying mm -hmm. like my best to teach myself not to curse for one hour. I'm like, you could do it for one hour, but it still slips in and just like, I can't yeah. help myself. But yeah, no, I totally get that. Like you have to own your vibe and you have to own yeah. your space. So hopefully when you get your apartment, that will be like so yeah. awesome. Well, and hopefully like, uh, not hopefully, like it's, it's always dependent on the game I'm playing too. Yeah. Cause like, if it's a calm game, I'm going to be calm. If it's Call of Duty or Overwatch, I will be screaming the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing you guys play Overwatch. Um, side, a lot of side quest teammates have been playing yeah. Overwatch together, which it's is so, so funny because like I feel like I've played Overwatch, not with you guys, but I played it maybe like, I want to say like four times and it's almost too mm -hmm. chaotic for me so I'm like <laughs> how are they playing this like I'm like my I, I usually the lights I'm like oh my god I'm, my brain's scrambled like it's yes. very very high energy <laughs> but it is really fun it is really fun I really like it. it's especially more enjoyable with like I I never queue with randos ever mm -hmm. so I generally don't get the toxicity that other people get yeah or have gotten when they solo queue I don't I refuse yeah to play that, any kind of team game solo because yeah. they mm -mm. it's not kind of disappointing too though because it's like ugh, like i wish that they there was just better control over trolling in general yeah like it's such it's just crap because i feel like so much of being a twitch streamer is like catering to the bullies and the trolls and like trying to mitigate the damage that they cause mm -hmm. um which is really <clears throat> frustrating because i feel like we should be trying to protect and enable the good ones to come to the forefront and the people who are trying to advocate and help each other and i just feel like you shouldn't be allowed to do these things like they shouldn't be perpetually allowed you know trolls and people it's frustrating you know yeah like it also because when i i don't know have you ever played friday the 13th no i think i have it um it, it was actually when it was at its peak was super fun but they always had issues with their muting system so you could mute somebody and they would still oh, talk and they would no. say things to get you banned and like i was like I can't play this anymore. Like, I'm not going to yeah. risk my career by playing a game because your stupid software doesn't mute people, you know? Mm -hmm. You got to look out for the streamer. You know what I mean? Yep. So, yeah. How do you deal with, like, toxic communities? Like, what's sort of your, like, protocol for that sort of thing? Or, like, on Overwatch, like, you don't even allow to random cues because you, like, want to avoid it, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. we, um, 
not necessarily Overwatch, but with uh, what game was it? First Class Trouble. Mm -hmm. I think we were playing on somebody's stream one day. I don't remember. It was with SideQuest, but we mm -hmm. rando queued, and there's just there is in game voice chat. You can't not have that. Wow. But like this rando was being such a dick, mm. <laughs> and inst I think we ended up voting him off. But he was like screaming, and we we're just like, bruh. Yeah, that but sort of thing freaks me out too. Because what if he said something? Exactly. I was like, and their name was really weird too. And yeah. we all said we were gonna boot him, and then we didn't. I was like, whatever. I'm not streaming. I don't think I was anyway. So yeah, I didn't care. <laughs> it didn't care because you know you can you can sort of let loose when you game and you're not streaming because you don't yeah. like have. That's also one of the things I feel about like the DMCA stuff is like I won't play music that could get me banned or get me a strike because mm -hmm. it's just nothing. Not one thing would be worth me losing. Exactly. everything you know everything for just because mm -hmm. you're playing like a literally like a game or you're playing with randos like that's not fair you know and i yeah. feel like the the streamer is always the one who's being penalized which is really unfair kind of you know what i mean like it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be yeah. that the streamer gets in trouble and stuff what is your favorite game to play for stream <sighs> or top five um definitely genshin oh i've never played that i love genshin impact yeah. Um, Overwatch actually because we played it the other day on stream when that was really fun so I think I might yeah. add that to the roster oh nice um, <sighs> Super Mario Sunshine's fun to stream but I get livid <laughs> at that game yeah that's like my version of Hearthstone like there are certain games that just trigger you yeah. Hearthstone triggers <laughs> me oh my god Ugh. I, I love hate that else. game but that's a good. What is what is um Genshin about? Oh, anime chicks. Okay, got it. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's say less, Sarah. Say less. <laughs> Waifus. Nice. They, it's great. It's great. Okay. Okay. Would oh, you, Fall Guys. Yep. Do you do you it's like fall. fall Guys too? Um, you know, anger. It's funny. Yeah. I love yeah. playing with um Adam from the team. Yeah. <laughs> I love playing with Adam. We get so angry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Fun. I I never like I liked Among Us. Um, Among Us was fun. I feel like sometimes I get overstimulated a little because there's like a yes. lot of stuff and like you're like lying and it just stresses <laughs> me out. <laughs> like, it stresses like, me the so heck out. So stress me out. Um, Fall Guys was fun too, but I always feel like Fall Guys was sort of like better if you had a group. Yes. And if, you, it's like I, if you're playing by yourself, it's boring. You know. It's like, I, I, it's one of the ones that I never play by myself because it's yeah. just boring by myself. It's just boring and it's just like not really as like I, there are certain games that like also like I feel like Dead by Daylight's another one. I really like to have like mm -hmm. a full boat when I play because you like care about the you know you'll you'll risk your life to save your friend. But if it's a <laughs> random, I'm like screw you, whatever. I gotta finish this Jenny. Like leave me alone. But yeah. like Dead by Daylight, do you do you play Dead by Daylight too? I think I have it on something. I've never played it, but everybody <gasps> keeps talking about it lately. <laughs> you should you should download it. It honestly is it's really fun and it's it's nice when you have a group of people who could play because you yeah. you really like you'll go to bat for each other you will but yes. it's also like jump scary i don't know if that's sort of your style or not i mean it's yeah it that one would probably be fine because again it's like a group thing anything mm -hmm. scary i'm generally okay with a group mm -hmm. um but like i tried to play outlast forever ago i was and just left. gonna ask you about outlast yeah. <laughs> honestly outlast is the scariest game i've ever played it's so scary like i had nightmares <laughs> I couldn't I had to like watch Pokemon before I went to bed that night uh, like literally like the thing about Outlast that's so genius is that it's all randomized so you can get stuck in the basement and get stuck and literally you like could be there for hours because the bad guy will come out at different points at different times in different places mm -hmm. so you can't oh I'll just get into a rhythm and I'll figure it out like there you know you you won't get into a rhythm it's yeah um Outlast is definitely the scariest game i i have you played phasmophobia i have it uh, i think it, yeah. somebody gifted it to me and i haven't been able to play it yet honestly not gonna lie the hype for phasmophobia was interesting to me because it really isn't that scary and i'm i shriek and scream about like everything but like it really isn't like i was like i found it to be more like 
tedious and the tedium of it made it not scary because it's like you have to collect this and I'm like I don't want to collect like me and Ty we oh. made a mockery I love, <laughs> I love Ty yes but Ty and I played Phasmophobia and I swear to god like we just like started to like trip we were just like la 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 the, let the ghost get it like you know because the thing is is like I feel like a scary game like have you started Resident Evil no I started Resident Evil remake 2 remake Mm-hmm. like forever ago <laughs> have you i'm assuming did you play resident i played evil resident 2? evil 2 yeah yeah i got to i was basically i got to the police station and then yeah. i had to go through this hallway that had water and i was like nope and no. i switched to something else because <laughs> i can't you know what's I funny can't. is like resident evil you know the new one that just came out everyone's hyped up for and playing it and mm-hmm. i don't know people asked to play but the thing is like resident evil 2 didn't scare me so i'm like i'm not gonna try another one when the one that they say is the scariest did not scare me so i'm like uh. well actually i my partner chris said seven was the scariest i think for him and like scarier than two i think and then because if you want to play the new one i think seven is a direct or eight's a direct sequel to seven i think he said well the thing is is like i don't i i think the thing that scares me about scary games like like outlast is that yes it's a puzzle yes you have to figure it out but it's not like the emphasis on puzzles and stuff whereas Mm -hmm. resident evil is like all just like puzzles and i was like "Mm -hmm. i just want to be scared okay i want (laughs) to murder shit and i just want to be scared like did you ever play fallout or any of the no okay that's fun fallout 4 i've been talking a lot about it. i might re-download it like fallout mm-hmm. 4 was fun because it's scary but you can like go and moita everything you mm-hmm. just go and shoot zombies and like they're huge monsters and like tiny monsters and like nuclear waste <laughs> monsters if you like that kind of thing it can be really yeah fun. yeah like scary. i played yeah. i played fallout shelter on my switch oh, okay yeah, yeah yeah that's like kind <laughs> of in the yeah no like not fallout 4 i wouldn't say is like scary scary but there's like you know it's like jump scare like you could have like a thing pop out like i feel like Resident evil was more like once you kill the thing then it's like and it's not randomized so like you can get into a rhythm like after doing it twice you can clear the room by just Mm -hmm. like you know what i mean so that makes it less the unpredictability of outlast is what makes it so scary that it, it was mainly i think for me like the silence oh yeah it's terrifying i when i first tried to play it by myself i got like i was still in the safe zone yeah like where nothing was happening yeah, yet in yeah. the very beginning and i had a panic attack i had to stop stream i was so really? done really oh wow yeah. no it's not for the faint of heart outlast which one did you play no. do you remember what number is the it was the first one and um then going forward with the game my partner came over and he was playing it and i sat next to him with like with my blanket (laughs) no it's really (laughs) scary do you do play little nightmares no i do want to play that like i played um, you'd love it i played until dawn okay and uh what was it uh dark pictures of man and madan i played that one those scared the I've never, what was the second one did you say madam what it up? was man of madan matt Ma- man of madan man of madan yeah it's made by the same people that made until dawn oh okay i've never heard yeah. of, i love spooky games but like obviously i like spooky stuff like look at all the shit behind me i love Reverse spooky okay. but i feel like I, I haven't been scared by a game other than outlast outlast scared me nothing else really truly scared the bejesus out of me the dark pictures mm-hmm. of man of madan oh okay that, yeah that <laughs> i couldn't well, remember the whole <laughs> also animal crossing this is not scary but animal crossing tom is a crook he yes. is a murderer he is a his sons are his henchmen and i will die by this okay like he don't you have a tiktok about that i do and i, I swear I to god I need to follow you let me TikTok. explain to you something if i play animal crossing again <laughs> I'm going to continue the mafia crossing because he is a crook, a criminal. He has made me, he has captured me on an island to work for him for my life. I hate that game. I love it and I hate it. Like I was so, I but I started getting like Sarah. So I played Animal Crossing and I started to make like a joke about mafia crossing and Tom mm-hmm. Cook and go catch the, the fauna and the, like he was, you know, from Scarface, right? I started getting messages from people 
who like I don't even know they were like hey I found you through you know I love Animal Crossing and like I just feel like you know you're kind of making a joke it's supposed to be like a like a calming game it's supposed to make you feel safe and I was talking about how he like has sex slaves in the like throwing them in the the, the <laughs> river like I was being inappropriate <laughs> but I started to feel bad like I was ruining the no. vibe of this game for these people so i stopped no. playing it because i was like i feel so bad <laughs> like no, they come creating... into my stream and i'm like he she, she she's gonna make me sell my my children for the like i've started to ruin the game for people i think so i stopped playing it <laughs> that's but because that's how, your story that you're going through your head about your your playthrough of the yeah, game but he you know? is a criminal like yeah. i will die by this like he There's literally there's a whole universe of memes about how Tom Nook is a crook. <laughs> He's a crook. <laughs> and I'm like appalled. Like, I did not know that you were going to be working your life away to just like Basically, live. Yeah. Like, it's literally like, he's like, oh, by the way, if you want to build this thing, you also have to like buy the, the instructions and you have to mm -hmm. buy the supplies. I'm like, bitch, I just want a tent. Like, I, I'm sorry. I just, I do not like his energy and his stupid little kids are always like, can I help you? My father's busy. Like, I, like I don't want to talk to you. You know, I just have very strong feelings. Wait, and you're still in the tent? I was still in a tent when I left. I was still in a tent. I have a whole house. I'm sorry. I was like, I felt like people were upset oh, with I me. Don't I, was play like, I, don't wanna, I was like, I don't want to ruin this for this community of people. No. Like, I know we might have to throw it back in the mix again because I think that'd be hilarious. I'd have to catch that. That sounds it was hilarious. Fun. And people were yeah. like, I had like, I got like six messages from like randos who were like, I just want to let you know, like this game is supposed to be like a safe space. And I, although we like your jokes are funny, like talking about that he's, you know, a moiterer is not funny. And I was like, well, but how do you know he's not? <laughs> there's so well in that. Oh my gosh. Cause there's also a million memes about like the villager being a moita. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like no, also the villagers. Like, the so villagers, many. are you kidding me? Like, I don't know which ones I had. I had these villagers, right? And they were rude to me. They were always mean to me. I'd walk yeah. over and they'd be like, oh, you made a snowman? Well, congratulations. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm proud, okay? <laughs> my snowman came to life, okay? Don't judge me, I'm excited. Oh my so God, yes. I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I'm ruining the game even just talking about no. it. <laughs> I think that sounds fantastic. Oh my God. I, I honestly, because so many people from SideQuest play Animal Crossing. So that's what made yes. me try it. You guys were like, you have to try, you try, try. And literally my first stream in, I'm like this, I spent like an hour in the airport. I was so confused. I like was like, and then everyone in SideQuest was like, you have to pick your island. Be careful. Like pick the right one. I'm like, oh. Oh. they were like, you have to. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what Whatever. do I do? What do I do? No, I don't but yeah. Know. My no. I, I don't even I have it. I don't play it. No. I'm not as creative as like Kaylina and like the yeah. other Animal Crossing stream. It's like I don't K is very I don't K is like the archetype for all Animal Crossing. And that's all that's what I feel like at Animal Crossing streamers feel like her, like calm and cozy and sweet. And I'm like, this bitch just made me buy these flowers. Like I was just very angry. <laughs> I was there's, there's some other chaotic Animal There's some other Animal streamers. Crossing. Okay, that makes me yeah. feel better. Cause I feel like I am not I'm like I got I feel like I got sort of not really banned, but like asked to be not in the category anymore and i was I'm like, like okay. you got gay gay cape i got gay cape i did a little bit. i was yep i was i couldn't <laughs> I, was gay keep, I got ke i got gay keep, but i also i also don't want people to be like upset you know like i never want it was my first time playing like i played it i was playing it like on mondays or something and i i didn't want people to like come in thinking they were getting something and then they'd hear me spewing that he's a serial killer and like <laughs> i mean <laughs> so, you know yeah that's i was playing on a switch yes yeah, so i was playing animal crossing on a switch yeah because yeah, is that the... how you play yeah oh okay is there i mean i have there? the gamecube one but oh okay gamecube <laughs> I don't know. I'm I, I'm like, I, I couldn't even believe that you had to play Animal Crossing through the Switch. When I first set it up, I was like, wait, what? They don't have this on Steam? Like, what? No, Nintendo. that's so crazy. <laughs> Nintendo is not. Nintendo is like, F you Steam. No, thank you. But yeah. Yes. No, it's fun. I love that also you play such a variety of games. I think that's like awesome. 
<laughs> but so it's nice games. because it seems like you really like like that aspect of like the variety changing it up yes. and trying different things which a lot of people are scared to do um i don't because i there's not a single because even genshin like i'll go real hard on genshin mm -hmm. and then i'll just stop so like i don't like how there's nothing that i will consistently play mm -hmm. that i won't look like i'm bored on stream because even Genjin, <laughs> like lately especially like because it's just a lot of grinding i have a lot of story to do but well do you get like really immersed uh, in it yes yeah and that's okay. why i because i feel bad when it's like story heavy but i like to play story heavy mm -hmm. and i don't think i need to feel bad because if i'm playing no. a game for the first time and i'm watching the cutscenes, i'm not gonna talk or look at chat I'm gonna yeah look at you're like paying attention to the game right well that's yeah. what i feel like if you are a streamer whose emphasis is on gaming then like that makes perfect sense like if you yeah. are somebody who like really cares about the storylines mm -hmm. and all like how they intersect and the characters like of course that's what your focus should be on so you should yeah. not feel bad about that at all i on the other hand am garbage at every game i've ever played so trash, trash. like no literally <laughs> we're have you heard of limbo the game Limbo? Yes. Okay, so I've been like I've mildly playing. It's like a little spoopy cute game kind of in the mm -hmm. veil of little nightmares. And I've been trying to work through it. And let me tell you, even my very sweet supportive community members were like, bitch, just move the box. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I, I'm, I struggle. The struggle is lives in my house. The struggle it's, is just... <laughs> yes, but, but it's a struggle. But you're good though. You're good at you know games and i'm, I'm it's not all the time <laughs> from everything i've seen like you do things much better than i would ever do and i honestly like <laughs> i feel like i'm so happy that not only are you like um one of my teammates now but i honestly feel really happy that like our paths intersected even before yes. side quest because <laughs> you were so sweet you're so genuinely like a caring kind considerate person mm -hmm. and that's like a rarity in this world i swear and i'm so yeah. grateful um that you came and you took time to talk to me and i feel like i really got to know you better and like i feel like i have like a sense of who you are now more mm -hmm. and i just want to say sarah thank you so much for joining me today i mm -hmm. i hope you had fun it wasn't nervous nerve-wracking right it's just nerves leading up to the event is always like, like i have yeah yeah, yeah. and now you're like is she it wasn't shit like i told you it was like nothing. no it's good no i appreciate you so much <laughs> sarah too. is there anything else you want to share with us today before we we head out for the it's probably wait are you on the east coast yeah so it's late for you yeah yeah. Well, I'm, I'm on the. I love how I'm like it's on the anyway. east coast when I'm on the east coast too, and I was I'm like it's say. late for you. But for me, this is like because when you told me stream. what time this was, I was like, yeah. oh, thank God you did it in the ST because I would have had to Google what time. Yeah, that was me if too. You did. Me too. No, honestly, <laughs> it's so challenging because people are like, oh, I'll be there at 7:30. I'm like, wait, what? I said 10:30, and they're like pacific i'm like oh sorry 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 okay, not yeah. bad but um but seriously though sarah thank you so much thank you for for joining me for sharing a, a bit of yourself with us um is there anything else you want to share before you before we go um i'm doing a luigi cosplay soon because oh that, that was that was <laughs> that was the yeah. milestone for 500 i think i'm gonna for yeah thank you what what when are you doing this cosplay uh probably next week on monday everybody look out for Maybe. sarah plays life she is going to be doing a <laughs> luigi cosplay for saint jude live um awesome. i just want to say sarah thank you so much again for joining me today mm -hmm. i had such a fun time talking to you getting to know you i feel like i could start anime now <laughs> and i won't be nervous anymore Please. um ask me all your anime questions i will i'm gonna ask you a million questions i'm gonna be so confused trust me i'm like wait what um <laughs> So thanks to everybody for joining us on episode Lucky 13 with Sarah Plays Hell Life. Yeah. This is Poop with Jax on Coven Chronicles. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, Sarah. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Anytime, baby. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs>